All right, we're uh, waiting to hear exactly how Josh Hurtis is going to explain these latest widespread uh, Chinese hack attacks in the United States, or allegedly. Uh, the bottom line, though, is it, it, it is fraying relations between our two countries. Former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger here to say that we, we ought to look at how important it is for us to maintain a relationship, that everyone has to stay calm, right? Well, it's important uh, to avoid a military conflict between China and the United States and to because we are the two largest economies in the world. We intersect in many parts of the world. And therefore, if possible, a conflict should be avoided, uh, but not by making unilateral concessions. It requires a dialogue between the two sides in which each recognizes their responsibilities and uh, attempts to find a way to a solution. And I think the issues that are now on the table uh, should permit that. Well, you know, when you arranged and got the Richard Nixon to go to China in 1972, would you have envisioned then, Secretary, the China you're seeing now? Inconceivable. When, we, when we, I came to China, there was practically no automobiles in the street. There were no consumer goods, there were no high-rise buildings. Uh, it's a totally different uh, society. When Nixon went to China, we had to bring our own uh, ground station foot, or we couldn't have communicated with the United States. Is that right? Wow. I they had some rudimentary system, but nothing to take care of the President of the United States. Or Secretary of State at the time, right? Um, uh, at Let, uh, my I, first visit, I was security advisor. Oh, then secretary. I apologize. Uh, All then, right. then secretary. Um, let's switch gears to ISIS, if you don't mind, sir. Uh, General Petraeus earlier this week had, had, had all but said and told me, we're losing. Uh, not that we can't eventually win, but we're, we're not doing well. Um, do you agree with that, that, we, that they have the upper hand? ISIS has the upper hand. Uh, the fundamental problem is this. ISIS is about 30,000 irregulars. They're not technically trained uh, to fight. They have only the heavy equipment that they capture from, uh, from us or, or from forces that we have armed. So if they can, can stand up to American uh, opposition and to American air power, and that if we can find no way to defeat them, every day that they stay in the field will look to their local region and maybe to, and to the rest of the world as uh, the American inability to deal with a mortal threat. That generates volunteers and that uh, then uh, makes uh, the uh, subsequent prosecution of the war all the more difficult. But does it mean we have to have more American troops? I mean, they control a third of Iraq, essentially half of Syria, uh, smatterings of other countries across the region. Is it too late to change it? No, I don't think it's too late. Uh, we need some local forces. Uh, we cannot do it, uh, we could do it, but we should not do it entirely with American ground forces. But, it, but some special forces uh, should, be, should be available. And I also find it very puzzling that we will not permit our airplanes to be supported by ground observers that could uh, pick the targets more rapidly and more efficiently. So, uh, so we, need, we need a visible defeat of ISIS. If ISIS can hold territory, it has never happened before that terrorist organizations controlled territory and declared a kind of a state, a caliphate, as they, they call it. Uh, the previous Al-Qaeda was an explicit terrorist organization. Uh, uh, ISIS is a terrorist organization. It's a murdering group of, of uh, people in addition with the prisoners and the local populations and it has territory that it controls 
so it is a visible presence that its enemies cannot rem have not been able to remove. And it's visible here, right? I mean, there are efforts that were made this week to sort of rein in the Patriot Act. I'm sure you're familiar, Secretary. We've got the American Freedom Act, which is sort of like a, a, a mutually agreed way to tone it down with, it, with keeping our security up. Do you think that Rand Paul was right to say we went too far with the Patriot Act? And is there an argument to be made that in the name of keeping us safe, we, we can throw away our privacy, and that's going too far. Uh, it's impossible for me to be, judge whether it went uh, a bit too far, but I'd rather err on the side of going too far than, on, than not having done enough if there is some uh, a disaster. Well, then what do you think of Rand Paul? I disagree with him. You, if and he I, were president of the United States, what kind of president would he be? on foreign affairs? Well, I've tried to stay out of this uh, sort of issue on this issue. John McCain, I, I'll just say, John McCain, he'd be worried. He'd support him, but he'd be worried. I, I, I'm worried. I, I disagree with him. It's a, but it's more than disagreement, because this is a way of judging the nature of our dangers. And uh, I, I don't think that he put the issue in the way that I would feel comfortable with. Secretary Kissinger, it is always good seeing you. Thank you for taking the time. You've lost me a friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, hey, well, I, I, got, I was day, in the neighborhood. Day isn't wasted. All right. <laughs> day isn't wasted. <laughs> All right. Uh,